تهوي ببلادي كل ديرة بها دوبا كل ديرة ما أرضى اللهم صل على محمد أتمنى ما ما أهدي محبوبي وردة ولا أهدي ياسا كل ورد الدنيا ما بدلة بشعرة من راسة إحساس اللي يسكن بالقمرة من نبض إحساسة كل نسمة تمر على العاشق نفحة من أنفاسة كل نسمة تمر على العاشق نفحة من أنفاسة سحر عيون الهادي كل منظر ساحر مجنون بحب وهاين كل طير مهاج واسمع كل طير بصوت عن قصن غر اللهم صلي على محمد أتمنى ما ساكن قلبي ساكن روحي أغلى من أحبابي كل ما صليت أنا بحبه بيضت كتابي والحب محراب ورادوني أترك محرابي رحمة الله ومن تتنزل مفتوحة بوابي رحمة الله ومن تتنزل مفتوحة بوابي طه أبواب الرحمة كلها ما أدري شلون الدنيا لو سد جفونا كلمة الدين الرحمة وجفنا ما ينسى اللهم صلي على محمد وآل محمد يا صاحب الهبة بيضاء في النجم علي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Zakira Shairoz Jafar Dala for Safir TV in the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam on the 13th of Rajab Subhanallah What a blessed night to be here and uh, with the full moon in the sky in the night watching it from the streets of Najaf it is a surreal experience indeed I'm here um, as your uh, Khadim as a person who is here to deliver your messages of Salam and your Dua so please uh, call in we're ready to take your calls uh, on WhatsApp uh, and the phone numbers on the screen as well. Uh, we're here to take your written messages on Facebook, uh, on the Safir TV website. So please uh, don't hesitate. This is the night to ask. This is the night of nights when our beloved Imam Ali alayhi salam came to this world. And what a blessed, blessed moment that was when his beloved mother Bibi Fatima uh, binti Asad alayhi salam entered the area of the Holy Kaaba and she was in pain and the door of the Kaaba well the wall of the Kaaba cracked open and the people watched in amazement and wonder when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took her in to his home and when she emerged there was a baby in her arms a miracle for the world to remember forever 
and the crack still exists on the walls of the Kaaba. And no matter how much effort is made to try to close that crack, it doesn't seal. Subhanallah. A testament to the end of time for the lovers of Imam Ali alayhi salam to touch that blessed place and to remember that blessed moment of history for the world to see till time to come. I have behind me, subhanallah, the, uh, the haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam and it is a festive night indeed, the night of 13th Rajab. And the streets of Najaf are full of people. People from all over the world have come here today. What an incredible opportunity to be invited by Imam Ali alayhi salam to pay our respects here at this holy shrine. The shrine is decorated and the streets are decorated and there are stages set up everywhere. There are flowers, fresh flowers being brought in and decorated all over. And there are giant cakes being uh, baked and delivered and uh, set up. And the moon that glows in the sky is so bright that no lights are needed. Today uh, I was uh, with a, uh, a group uh, that has come from England, uh, Footsteps to Jannah. And we have uh, many children with us in that group. And I told them all to look up into the sky. I said, look at that glowing moon. Never forget that tonight is the moon of Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. And look, it says Ya Ali on that moon, doesn't it? Subhanallah. I said, never forget that you were here on the night of his birth in Najaf, staring up into the open sky. Brothers and sisters, my dua is for you all to be here at this blessed place on this blessed day. This is one of the most uh, maksus uh, dates to be here. And uh, the faithful have arrived from all over the world. Uh, it's just in our hotel, the amount of people I'm meeting from all over the world people from Dubai, people from Australia, people from New York, Chicago, Toronto, uh, Dar es Salaam. Uh, there is no place on earth that, uh, that, that is uh, lacking a person here. Everyone showing their love, expressing their love effusively. And uh, subhanAllah, what a night to be here. It was impossible actually to get into the shrine uh, just two days ago. The, uh, the doors were closed actually because there were so many people inside and that was before, two days before the 13th of Rajab, tonight is the night and uh, subhanallah, I, I, have, I have yet to see tomorrow how it will be. I hear that uh, the crowds quadruple, uh, an amazing, amazing outpouring of love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect these lovers of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless these lovers of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, that they keep coming again and again and they keep coming to show their love so that the world watches and asks, who is Ali? We are the blessed ones who have had the opportunity to know him, to understand him, to hear about him. There's so many on this earth who do not know. If we only shared just a few stories, uh, definitely these people would uh, have their eyes opened. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide everyone. And there's so many in our own faith who, are, who have yet to understand what faith is and who, uh, how to show loyalty to Imam Ali alayhi salam. We are truly blessed to be of those who can express our love so openly. The chants of Ya Ali, Ya Ali are everywhere. All over the shrine, all over the haram, the outskirts, the sahan, as well as in the hotels, in the lobbies, there are groups of people getting together, reciting nasheeds, mankabat, and uh, poetry in praise of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. And one can never say enough about this personality. I was doing a search of uh, some of the names of, of, of Imam Ali alayhi salam and subhanallah the list was just endless completely mind-boggling he is known as 
Wajhullah, the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yadullah, the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The insanullah, the tongue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has worked through Imam Ali alayhi salam that one strike of his sword would kill the enemies and scare all the others who, uh, who were even thinking of approaching him. I'm uh, looking forward to your messages and uh, there are so many who have asked that, uh, that uh, we remember them in our dua. And uh, so many people have sent their salam. I want to uh, mention some of those names. I have uh, Yasmin Koja from uh, Toronto, Canada who sends her salam to Imam Ali alayhi salam Assalamu alayka ya amirul mu'mineen and says ya Ali please call us to your shrine again and again and says ya Ali please accept our salam and accept our hajat I have uh, so many names popping up here that uh, I can't even keep track we have uh, Lutfia from Toronto, Canada again, who is saying, Ya Ali, please accept our salam and our hajat. And we have um, Sahar from uh, Dubai asking that uh, we send our, her, her loving salams to Amir al Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Mu'mineen. I have um, Sherbanu from Toronto, Canada. I have um, Fatim uh, from uh, Fatim Punjani from Toronto, Canada, who has said uh, to all the listeners, uh, Wiladat Mubarak, and says, "Mashallah, you all are so fortunate. Those of you who are in Najaf on these beautiful days, please pray for my children and for their good future and good health, and for all our um, physical uh, pain to disappear, all the physical problems, the uh, health problems that we have." And uh, she has also mentioned a young girl who is not well and asked that we, all of viewers please pray for her. And uh, inshallah, um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shifa to this young lady who uh, was mentioned. We have um, Tanvir um, Katao from Toronto, Canada who has asked that, uh, that uh, all viewers remember her in her dua in, uh, in your duas and has asked imam ali alayhi salam to call her to najaf ya ali please call us to najaf i have uh, nida fatima from mumbai who has written here please pray for us at the holy shrine uh, you are also lucky to be here uh, we are so blessed to be seeing these live scenes from uh, from najaf thank you so much safir tv for making this possible Neelam from Mumbai has written, um, Sister Shiroz, please, please keep me in your prayers and convey my salams to Mola Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam and please tell him that we all over the world love him and want to come here ourselves to pay our respects. How much can we say about Imam Ali alayhi salam? There, there's not enough words. Um, known as the Lion of God, Asadullah al Ghalib. Haider al Farrar, Walid al Kaaba, Imam al Muttakin, Dahi Bab Khaybar, Amir al Mu'mineen, Abu Turab, Abul Hassanain. Reminds me of this uh, saying of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said to Imam Ali, Ali, Ya Ali, you have something that even I, Rasulullah, do not have. Imam Ali Alayhi Salam said, Ya Rasulullah, what is it that I have that you do not have? The Holy Prophet وسلم, replied, You have a father-in-law like me, and you have a wife like Fatima, السلام, and you have children like Hassan and Hussein. Subhanallah, Ya Ali, you are surrounded by these incredible personalities. Um, also known as Abul Aima, the father of the Aima Tahirin, السلام, Wasiyu Rasulullah, Wali Allah, Hujjatullah, Ya Khalq. Urwatal Wuthka Mushkil Kusha. Um, Mushkil Kusha is uh, someone who's asking, what does this mean? It means a problem solver. We ask tonight that Mushkil Kusha, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, solve the problems of all the Muslims all over the world. Ya Ali, 
there are Muslims all over the world suffering, whether it is here in Iraq, whether they are in Yemen, in Rohingya, in Burma, in um, all over the world we have Muslims, for example, Pakistan, where the Shia and Ali are persecuted, the Shia of Parichinar, who set out to visit the holy shrines and entire buses of those Zawar are mercilessly killed. Uh, the news reports say that buses of, of uh, brutally mutilated people are found in those, uh, in those places. These lovers of Ahlul Bayt salam, these lovers of Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. But Ya Ali, Subhanallah, your name continues to live forever and ever. Imam Ali salam has said, it will never be easy to say my name, not in any era, not in any century, not in any time. And how true that is, that it has been impossible to say his name without getting persecuted. There are Shias right now, lovers of Imam Ali alayhi salam, who lose their jobs if it's found that they are the lovers of Ali. There are Shia of Ali all over the world who um, face great danger to their lives. There are those who are in processions in Julus in Pakistan who uh, leave home to do a zadari, to grieve for Imam Ali alayhi salam and never return home. There are so many such stories that um, it, uh, the heart breaks, the heart simply breaks. I want to um, spend a few minutes to remember the mother of Imam Ali alayhi salam, for it is actually her night tonight, isn't it? This is the great lady who gave birth to a great man. We thank you Ya Fatima alayhi salam for giving birth to a child that brought so much enlightenment to this world. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that the religion of Islam would not have been saved if it hadn't been for the wealth of Khadija and the sword of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. These two have been the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and have given him support, given him love and accepted him when he said that he was the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that we often do not hear about this personality of Bibi Fatima binti Asad for she was also one of the believers and when Imam Ali alayhi salam her son said that this is Rasulullah, this is the man that I want to follow, this is the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She also believed and was a Muslim in every way and gave her sons, all her sons, for Islam. Imam Ali alayhi salam was one of four sons. There was Talib, Akil, Ja'far and Ali. Subhanallah. All four sons were given in Islam, given for Islam. We know the famous uh, story of, uh, of uh, these brothers who um, were truly incredible personalities in their own right. We know of the story of um, that brother, Jafar ibn Tayyar who Jafar gave his arms in the Battle of Muta and when this happened, his arms were cut and he lost his life for Islam. It's when, and that is when, that is when, oh, we have a phone call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Fatima. Oh, Fatima from where? Uh, Fatima from London. Good uh, morning. Uh, how are you? I just want to send my salam to say uh, you're doing a great job uh, on the show, and it's great to see be able to see live Imam Ali Islam. Thank you so much, Fatima. Um, 
you are um, such a blessed voice to hear. And uh, here we were talking about the mother of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam and then a Fatima calls. Subhanallah. Do you know, Fatima, that uh, in fact this is uh, history we're making here. It seems that uh, we haven't had a female presenter at the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam before uh, giving a live show like this. So truly on the 13th of Rajab, an incredible thing tonight indeed with your du'as. Uh, tell us uh, any any special du'as that you have that you would like uh, us to pray for you here at this at this blessed place. Yes, I would like to send my salams. Assalamu alaikum, ya Ami al Muhammad, of Masjid al Wasi'in, and I would like to um, ask you to pray for um, my family, uh, my brother, my um, my mother, my husband, my child, and all my relatives. To inshallah be able to come to do ziyara of Imam Ali alayhi salam and uh, inshallah all together as a family. Subhanallah, you know, uh, Sister Fatima, hearing your dua makes me uh, feel teary eyed because uh, you're a person praying for every member of your family. How important family is and how precious women are that they care about every member of their family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your hajat and, uh, and preserve you, my sister, so that you can continue to give so much love to your family and to pray for them like this. I pray for the success of your children to be on the straight path for nothing is, nothing is uh, as precious as the fact that our children are on the Sirat al Mustaqim. Um, money comes and goes, things come and go, education, whatever it is, but you can have it all, but if your child is not a believer of Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, what a loss. Uh, always remember those words of Imam Hussain salam, when he says, Oh Allah, what has he gained who has lost you? And what has he lost who has gained you? Uh, so my dua for you tonight is that your children stay on the straight path. I pray for your brother, your family, your, uh, your parents, your entire family, and also the marhumin of your family. And may Imam Ali Ali Salam you so accept your salam and uh, call you very, very soon so that you can place thank you your so feet thank you. on Khuda this heaven thank on you earth. So Khuda Hafiz. Thank you so much for calling. Viewers, uh, brothers and sisters, we would love for, to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to call. I know that sometimes uh, the internet connection might be uh, not so strong and that's why a lot of your calls are not coming through. But do send us your uh, written messages. <clears throat> and we'll be sure to uh, read them on air. So uh, we were talking about um, the brothers of Imam Ali alayhi salam. These are brothers that Bibi Fatima bint Asad gave for Islam. She was exceptionally, uh, they say, prou uh, very fond of her son Jafar, and uh, the one uh, that I was just mentioning. But she bore this separation when uh, he and his wife uh, Asma bint Umais had to immigrate to Abyssinia. And you remember that famous time when the Abyssinian king um, asked them what, uh, whether they were truly uh, rebels as uh, they had been uh, followed by, the, uh, by those who were after their life. And it is that special uh, scene we see in the movie, for example, the message where uh, he so eloquently expresses what the Holy Prophet Sallallahu gave to all of them with the message of Islam and how uh, he brought them from an era of jahiliyyat to an era of enlightenment and how he showed them how to attain the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the Abyssinian king said those famous words that the difference between you and us is this this line that you also believe in uh, uh, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. So um, Fatima bint Asad b bore this separation from her son Jafar when he had to go to Abyssinia with Asma bint Umayz. And this was because the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had ordered for this first group of Muslims to migrate. And she was one of the first to swear allegiance to Islam and its concept of Tawheed, oneness and um, she was also part of those people who faced the boycott, the social boycott of the non-believers. Alhamdulillah, we have a call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sister. 
Shairos, Fatima Anti from London. Fatima Barani? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Wonderful to hear your voice. Um, yeah, please, please remember us in your duas, in Najaf. Auntie, I am praying so for you blessed. with my heart, all my heart. Here I am standing on heaven, in, in heaven on earth and the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam behind me. Auntie, I pray for your children. I pray for uh, them to never leave and the hand of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Pray for your uncle as well, yeah? I pray for your husband, wazir uncle, wonderful people. And uh, thank you so much for calling. Uh, May Allah okay, subhanahu wa ta'ala. I can see you online. I can see you right now. Alhamdulillah. I wish I could see you. Inshallah, very soon in the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. May Imam, okay. may Imam thank, call you. Thank, thank you. Yes, Auntie. You. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I pray uh, for this Auntie especially. One of the things she does is matchmaking in the, uh, in the city of London and Stanmore Mosque. And uh, she has put together many, many couples. A lot of sawab this job to uh, to match make and uh, a volunteer at the mosque as well blessed we are to hear from you uh, auntie fatima and uh, my duas are uh, with you and i pray that imam ali alayhi salam has accepted your salam i am sure he has uh, with love uh, and courage to pick up that phone and dial uh, it, with the love of imam ali alayhi salam uh, overflowing in the heart so we uh, spoke about uh, jafar and uh, then there was uh, also the other sons. Uh, before I uh, even speak about the other sons, I want to talk about the fact, and um, it's important for us to understand his history, that when the Holy Prophet wasallam lost both his parents, and as you know, he was a posthumous child. When he was born, his father had already passed away. And he was uh, about six years old when his mother passed away. So he didn't really have the love of parents and uh, very soon after that his grandfather passed away at that time there was an offer made by his grandfather to all his sons saying that I want to leave my empire to uh, to you as well as guardianship of this child Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is said that nobody stood up for this they were all ready to take the empire but no one wanted to take guardianship of this son. And it was the father of Imam Ali alayhi salam who stood up and said, I do not want the empire, but I want this son. I want Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He will grow in my house. With that, we're going to take a short break. And inshallah, when we come back, we're going to talk about how the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam grew up in, grew up in the home of Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, and found a mother in Fatima bint Asad. Uh, brothers and sisters, we're going to take a short break. Please send in your messages and continue to call. We're here at your service. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Yes. 
أصغر لم يبقوا لحجر كعيناه حزنا ومدامعه تحمر يا للعشاق لمفتون يهوى رشاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين عليه السلام Here we are at the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam and uh, our, um, our studio is receiving messages from you all inshallah very soon I'll be reading, re reading those out please uh, continue to uh, try calling I know that the internet signal might be uh, giving some technical issues but keep, keep calling, keep trying um, as we were talking about uh, the uh, the fact that uh, the uh, the father of Imam Ali Ali Salam Ali uh, um, Abu Talib, he said, "I do not want the empire, my father. I want the child Muhammad." And it is then that the father left the empire and the child in his hands. And it is said that Abu Talib and Bibi Fatima bint Asad both gave so much love to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that uh, he, uh, he found the love of true parents in their home and uh, when the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam proclaimed his prophethood his mother stood by him Bibi Fatima bint Asad she was uh, there by his side and she gave her sons in um, uh, to, to serve him and uh, she was a member of this privileged group who migrated to Medina with him um, we also rarely hear the fact that not only was Imam Ali alayhi salam one of four sons but he also had two sisters a sister named Fatima bint Abu Talib and Jumana bint Abu Talib as well and in that famous time when uh, of Hijra when uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left Mecca and Imam Ali Alayhi Salam slept in his bed uh, and, the, and the enemies thought that it was the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at that time um, Imam Ali Alayhi Salam was entrusted with two things by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was entrusted with all the amana that people had given him as you know the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known as a Sadiq the person who was truthful and the people of Mecca used to give him their valuables when they would travel and uh, uh, people would travel for months often not return for years and he used to keep their things in safety for safekeeping so when he left Mecca he gave these things to him to Imam Ali alayhi salam, to take care of and to return to the people and the other thing he entrusted was his daughter, Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. And he said, you must bring these ladies of the household uh, with you when you come to Medina. And um, subhanallah, Imam Ali alayhi salam was in charge of two Fatimas, his own sister Fatima, as well as his wife-to-be, Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. Subhanallah. And uh, it is said that... Uh, Fatima bint Asad was such a mother to him. She looked after the Holy Prophet in such a way that he remembered her in his later life. And he would say that, you know, she would go hungry to feed me. He respected her so highly that history tells us that when Fatima bint Asad would enter the room, the Holy Prophet would stand up in honor. And he would receive her with great love addressing her as mother subhanallah uh, Fatima bint Asad also looked after the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam during his youth and when she passed away and this is uh, this has been narrated by many companions including Anas bin Malik that when Bibi Fatima bint Asad passed away the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to visit her and he sat beside her body and he prayed for her soul and he cried and he said my dear mother may God keep you under his protection many times you went hungry in order to feed me well you fed me and clothed me on delicacies that you denied yourself 
God will surely be happy with these actions of yours, and your intentions were surely meant to win the goodwill and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and success in the hereafter. And then he gave his own shirt to be placed in her grave and used as her shroud. And history saw that he entered the grave and laid her body to rest and gave her a very beautiful farewell with tears and with much respect for the whole world to see that this was his mother who had taken care of him. Thus, she was one of the few people who uh, had this honor of the Holy Prophet وسلم, enter her grave and, um, and place it there, uh, place her body there. Bibi Fatima bint Asad is buried in Jannatul Baqi in, uh, in Medina and uh, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it possible for us to visit her grave in freedom and to pay our respects. Tonight is that night when Bibi Fatima bint Asad gave birth to this child named Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. History tells us that when she emerged with this baby, the baby's eyes were closed. And it was until the baby was placed in the hands of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the baby opened his eyes. And the first person that he saw was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And subhanallah, just like Hazrat Abu Talib alayhi salam and Bibi Fatima bint Asad gave so much love to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and were his surrogate parents. Similarly, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam as his own child. And we know that this is a fact because in Nahj al Balaga, Imam Ali alayhi salam talks about this, and he talks about how Imam Ali alayhi salam talks about how he grew up on the lap of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, I was so young that I was unable to chew my own food. And it was this holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who would take food in his own mouth, soften it and put it in my mouth. This is not only just a, a physical expression of uh, how food was given to be more palatable uh, and uh, to be able to be swallowed and accepted by Imam Ali alayhi salam, but it is also metaphorical in many ways for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took all the knowledge that was given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Jibreel alayhi salam and he gave it to Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam so that one became the city of knowledge and the other the gate. Subhanallah. Imam Ali alayhi salam talks about how holy, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to guide him and uh, he grew up in his lap in such a way that he said that I was like a she camel who would follow how the way it follows its mother. I followed the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the same way. And when he was in the mountain of Hira, in the cave, I was the one who would come and hear the revelations that were being sent down to him. And I was the one, the first one who would be told about them. I was the one who knew where to find him. I was the one who was to take food to him. Subhanallah, what an honor indeed and a privilege to grow up in the home of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to be guided by him, to be trained by him, to be loved by him. There is a beautiful narration by Ibn Abbas where he talks about how the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once gave Imam Ali Alayhi Salam an errand to run and he said, Ya Ali, go and complete this work for me. And Imam Ali Alayhi Salam went to do it but for some reason he became delayed and he was not returning as quickly as expected. At that time, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got visibly worried, got visibly uh, anxious and the narration goes that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam raised his hands in dua and he said, 
O oh Allah, let death not come to me until I see Ali one more time. Let my eyes rest on Ali just once. Let death not come to me before I see Ali at least once. Subhanallah. So when people say to us, why do you love Ali salam, so much? We say, how can we not? When the Holy Prophet wasallam, himself loved him so much that he begged for life just so that he could lay his eyes on Imam Ali salam. And that is why he used to say to the people, looking at the face of Ali, Ibn Abi Talib salam, is worship. It is the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ali alayhi salam was known as the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for being pleased with Ali is being pleased with Allah and pleasing Ali is pleasing Allah but subhanallah this is a family that always looked at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every action that they did taught by the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the Holy Prophet ﷺ had this quality about him. This is described by Imam Ali alayhi salam in Nahj al-Balaga. He said, there was this amazing quality that I saw in my Holy Prophet. Where whenever something came in front of him, he would ask one question. He would say, will this thing bring me closer to my Lord or take me far away from it? And he said, when he would answer this question, it is then that he would decide whether he is going to do that particular thing or not. So the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the litmus test for Imam Ali, uh, for the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Imam Ali alayhi salam describes this, that I saw this quality, that whenever something was brought to him, he would say, is this going to bring me closer to my Lord or take me far away from it? And the lesson we learn here is not only are some things clear cut, either this will bring us close to God or take us away, God forbid. But there are some things that are gray. There are some things that are purely recreational. There are some things that are not going to create any difficulty. There are things that will not please Allah, nor will they grant us any difficulty. At that time, it is wise, and the person of taqwa leaves it. For they say, why indulge in something that doesn't bring me closer to my Lord in any way? Uh, what a beautiful way to look at life. And so this is a lesson that Imam Ali salam and his entire family also accepted and made it a part of their lives. But when in that famous story of how uh, the story that is narrated in Surah Dahar, when the Holy Family was um, fasting and every time that the door would, they would hear a knock on the door, it would be a beggar, a traveler, um, a, a Miskeen, Yatim, and Asir. So it was a, a beggar and an orphan and a prisoner. And whenever these would, whenever these would, these people would beg at their door, the family would not only give their food, but this was an amazing thing that they did. That when they were thanked, they would say, We do not do this for any thanks nor any reward. We are doing this, we're feeding you simply because we look at the face of our Lord and we look for His pleasure. We do it for no shukr, no thanks from you, nor any reward. We do it simply for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here we have Ali Wajullah who looks at the face of Allah Himself and says, how do I make my Lord happy? And if this makes my Lord happy, then this is something that I will definitely do. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to follow in the footsteps of Imam Ali alayhi salam. For what is love if one does not understand who one loves? There needs to be ma'rifat. There needs to be recognition of one's beloved. There also needs to be a, a longing to be like the beloved. 
And when we come here and recite, uh, for example, Ziyarat uh, Aminullah, which is highly recommended to recite here in the Holy Shrine, um, I'm still having uh, difficulty with the internet, so I have not uh, got these messages on the screen. Perhaps you can uh, send them to me. Brothers and sisters, thank you for sending your messages. I am eager to read them um, out here and um, just pray that please my uh, internet uh, cooperates so that I can read there. I have um, at least 300 messages here uh, on my own Facebook page that, uh, that would be uh, wonderful to read. If I could, uh, maybe if somebody can give me a hotspot, brother. Um, could you in, uh, in, in make that happen? Uh, just a hotspot or uh, some kind of Wi-Fi that would make this, uh, these messages come to life here. So when we talk about uh, reciting uh, Ziyarat Aminullah, this is a very important ziyarah to recite here in the Holy Shrine. It is to be recited whenever we visit the grave of Imam Ali alayhi salam. And um, whether it's his death date, his birth date, the day of Ghadir, and any other occasions. And in fact, visiting any other Imam, it is highly recommended to recite this particular ziyarat. And this ziyarat, I mean Allah, has been written by our fourth Imam, Imam Zainul Abideen alayhi salam. And it's not only a ziyarat, but it is a dua as well. And um, the hadith tell us that it carries a great reward to recite this uh, ziyarat. And whoever recites this, it will be kept as a proof of the reciter's love for the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. So here in this uh, particular ziyarat, the different words used to describe Imam Ali alayhi salam give us more ma'rifat, recognition of him. Peace be on you, O the trustee of Allah on this earth. So Imam Ali alayhi salam is the trustee entrusted with getting the message to us and also to take care of all the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. He was known as the father of the orphans and he's also our father. Father who takes care of us and uh, ensures the well-being of all his lovers. Salam on you, proof over his servants, the existence of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, the, the name that has existed throughout the centuries, the love that we see outpouring here. So 1400 years later, later, millions of people coming to this shrine, coming to Najaf, subhanallah, is an example of the proof of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace be on you, O Amirul Mu'mineen. I bear witness that you strived in the way of Allah what is due and you acted upon his book and followed the ways of his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam blessings of Allah be on him and his family until Allah called you to his side so he took you to him by his choice and made incumbent upon your enemies the proof with what you have of the considerable proofs over all of his creation. O oh Allah, and this is the dua part of this ziyarat, then make my soul satisfied with your decree. Subhanallah, what a beautiful dua. And this is a dua that we often hear uh, in the writings of Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. O oh Allah, make me content with what you have for me and do not let me long for that which is not written for me. So in this we find that we ask Allah let me be pleased with what you have destined for me, fond of your remembrance and supplications, loving your chosen friends. Let me be well liked on your earth and in your heavens, patient when you send down afflictions, grateful for your gracious blessings, remembering your abundant bounties, yearning for the happiness of meeting with you, equipped with piety for the day of your reward, avoiding the manners of your enemies, diverted from the love of the world by your remembrance and your praise. SubhanAllah, a beautiful ziyarat indeed when we're asking Imam Ali alayhi salam to make this possible, to intercede for us and to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the ability to be satisfied 
to be with the best of manners, to show the best of love for the Ahlul Bayt, to never be like the enemies of the Ahlul Bayt salam. Subhanallah, we are blessed indeed that we have these beautiful du'as to aspire towards. With that, we're taking a break, brothers and sisters, and inshallah, when we come back with your du'as, we'll be able to uh, have your messages uh, said on the air. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ali, 
فقر لو أمس علي يا علي علي يا علي 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 منه بخياب ترد للشمس علي يا علي علي يا علي علي منه تخاف الشوس من بأس علي يا علي علي يا علي 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 منهم مهل بيت العب الخمسة علي يا علي علي يا علي حبه جنة إمام الإنس والجنة مسيم النار والجنة بصفات الفضل تفرى علي 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 منه مناقب عندما تنعاد علي علي منه بكرامات العدا تشهد علي علي منه الوصي بعد النبي الأمجاد علي 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 منه بغدير التولية أيام علي يا علي علي حبه جنة إمام الإنس والجنة قسم النار والجنة Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are live from the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam on the 13th night of Rajab. Biladat Mubarak to all of you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your salam to Imam Ali alayhi salam and grant you your wishes and remove all your difficulties. I'm going to be reading some of your beautiful messages on air. And inshallah, we pray that in this blessed shrine, uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam makes it possible and uh, all the difficulties are removed. We have a message from um, a sister, uh, Sister Narina, who says, Assalamu alaikum, Zakira. I'm sending my salams and from my kids to Mullah on this auspicious day of Biladat of Mullah, Amir al Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Iltima se dua. Sister Narina, our duas are for you to be granted all that you are asking for, inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove all difficulties. May Mola accept your salam. Salam to Zakira Shiroz. This is from Sayyidah Shah. Please send my salams to Imam Ali alayhi salam and pray for me. And please pray. I am also invited soon. Wa alaikum salam, Sister Sayyidah Shah. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this dua, this longing, and send you very very soon to Najaf inshallah I pray that we can be here together um, and very soon Amin. this is from Switzerland and we have um, a gentleman brother Kazim Rahmatullah please send my salams to Imam Ali alayhi salam and my sincere salams to Zakira Shairoz Jafardala from Switzerland Wa alaikum salam brother Kazim thank you so much I am uh, my heart is full of uh, love and joy to receive such a beautiful message and if a human being feels like this imagine how it is when imam ali alayhi salam receives love and salams from his lovers may mola alayhi salam accept your salam and uh, call you very soon to najaf thank you so much for your kindness and your respect i appreciate it uh, i pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gives you success in your job in your uh, inshallah married life and uh, grants you children and uh, takes care of your mother and father and all your family and uh, makes um, everybody's hajat come true Ameen uh, Assalamu alaikum uh, from Ramzan Ali I believe this is from Toronto yes from Toronto we have uh, brother Ramzan Ali Assalamu alaikum by uh, Zakir Ashiraz how are you and your entire team 
Kushali Mubarak. Please, my salams to Imam Ali Ali Salam and have uh, and also remove all difficulties, mushkilat. Jazakallah khair, jazak. Masha, we have a call from Sayyid. Uh, we would love to hear from your brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. From Pakistan, Sayyid? Brother Sayyid, do you, can you hear us? Assalamu alaikum. Mere bhai, up on air hain. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Hello Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Waalaikum salam. Uh, uh, do you speak English? Good English? Uh, yes, I can speak Urdu as well uh, if uh, if that's Urdu. Urdu bhi bol sakti hu English bhi. Ji. 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 Salam. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Hazrat Imam alayhi salam ke liye. Aaj. Salam Ada Kana. Oh, Subhanallah. Ada Kana Chatahu. Salam. Malapka Salam Kabul Kare, inshallah. Allah is Ali Imam Alayhi Salam to me. Or may he Chatanki Archka special day Kaya. Gee, thank you. So, Brother Sayyid has asked uh, that uh, we uh, send his salam to Imam Ali Alayhi Salam on this special night. Imam Alayhi Salam ke liye mera salam arz karna hai ji aur mere bete ki taraf se bhi aur dusri baat ek karna chahta hu ki aaj special salam kyon mang rahe hain okay thank you thank you so much faida ki din hai hazrat ali aaj salam ka aaj imam ali alayhi salam ka birthday hai aur aaj jo jo aapke saathi the jo baithe hain na arab ji wo english nahi samjhe meri okay um, um, so um, since this is an English uh, program today, I'm so sorry, bhai. Ham log uh, Urdu mein okay, itni kuch to nahi ho sakegi. Uh, you can uh, understand English. All right. So I'll just reply your yeah, question. I'm from Pakistan, but I have been in this country. Perfect. Very good. I'm so glad. So uh, just to answer your question. Uh, we send salam on Imam Ali alayhi salam throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, what I will do now uh, is. Uh, and the mother's name? Imam Ali's mother's name? Bibi Fatima Binti Asad. And, and father is Abu Talib alayhi salam. A double S. Asad. 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 This is what you have. When they were born, what was the time of the day? What was the time of the day? The time of the day, 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 the time of the day. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for your call. Um, we will uh, we'll hang up now and uh, I'll answer your question. Khuda Hafiz Miribai, thank you so much for calling. Um, so the brother was asking uh, that we uh, explain a little bit about, about Imam Ali alayhi salam and explain why we're sending sal salam on this special night. Why is this night special? Um, and uh, was asking the, ma the name of the mother of Imam Ali alayhi salam and wanted to know a bit more. And uh, we thank you, brother, for your question. Uh, this whole program actually has been uh, talking about the life of Imam Ali alayhi salam. So we ask you to keep tuning in and listening. We're also going to be uh, from, from the shrine tomorrow as well. Uh, day after as well and then uh, continuing on where I'm in Karbala and inshallah will be uh, live from uh, the shrine of Imam Hussain alayhi salam as well uh, tonight uh, we are honoring okay tonight we are um, talking about Imam Ali alayhi salam because it's the night of his birth but salam can be sent to him any time of the year it's just that tonight uh, because it's his birthday we're all in a very festive mood and and so many people from all over the world are sending their messages assalamu alaikum ya amirul mu'minin this is from nasreen hussein i would like to ask for help for my parents who have heart problems and other problems in the family it makes me very upset so your help would be very good Sister Nasreen Hussain, our duas, all our listeners and viewers understand uh, how precious parents are and uh, our hearts are with you at this difficult time. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the wasila of Imam Ali alayhi salam, grants shifa to your parents and uh, accepts this daughter's love for her parents 
and uh, grant them a long life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove all difficulties. May Imam alayhi salam accept your salam. Uh, this next message is from uh, uh, a sister who is asking for her sister, uh, for um, that we all uh, pray for her sister who has uh, cancer. Would you please pray for my sister Bibi Sheila Bulaki who got cancer? She has four children. Her husband is sick too. Would you please pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives her, gives her complete shifa for her family, and gives her tawfiq, hidayat, by the intercession of Imam Ali alayhi salam, and her salams too. Please, she's suffering and in pain. My dear sister, um, uh, our heart goes out to you. And uh, if just people who don't even know you feel this love and uh, sympathy then imagine how much love and sympathy Imam Ali alayhi salam has for you are his lover and his believer and his follower and we ask for shifa for our dear sister Sheila and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants her a long life gives her shifa and doesn't take away her uh, uh, her um, presence in the lives of her four children and her husband her husband is also unwell we pray for him as well and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, accept your hajat another message here and this is um, from, from a mother would you please pray for my daughters Bibi Fatima Surate uh, Bidasi and her son Ali for tawfiq guidance and hidayat and shifa uh, by the intercession of Imam Ali alayhi salam and my daughter Alia Nura Daulat for shifa May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant your uh, grant your dua, my dear sister, and um, may he accept your uh, salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, um, grant shifa to all those who are, um, who are sick, including from your family. We have Masuma Taki from Pakistan who says, please uh, give my salams to all of the holy personalities and pray for my health and that I should also reach there. May Mawla accept our ziyarat and fulfill all their hajats. Jazakallah khair. Uh, sister has said that Sakira Sharas, please have a safe trip. Thank you so much, Sister Masumataki from Karachi. Uh, Sayyida Shahida Hassan says, please convey my humble salams to our dear Imam and ask him to call me and my family to visit him soon. Sakina H. Wali says, remember us in your duas and uh, have a safe trip. My salam. Uh, Muhammad Iqbal Abid says, please convey my sincere salams to the Imams. Sharmin Farishta from Paris says, our salam to Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Ruby Walji Salim sends her salam to Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Sabira Mauji says, do pray for my marhum dad and mom and for me and my family to be blessed with ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Safe journey. Fazila Pir Muhammad Abbas says, My salams to my beloved Imam. Then Megji says, My salam to Imam Amir al Mu'minin alayhi salam. Patel Minhaz says, Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Mu'minin. Sabira Sayani, Iltima Sidwa, please to all the listeners. Sharmin Farishta from Paris, again, Salam, please, please remember us all in your duas. Sabah Fatima uh, says, Please mention my name. Uh, Sabah Fatima says, Naam lekar dua ki jega, please. She says in Urdu, Aur Mawla ko hum sab ka salam pesh ki jega. Present our salam to Imam. Zena Big Megji says, Please dua for us all, please. Masuma Zulfikar, Mawla ko salam dena. He says, Please, uh, she says, Please uh, send my salam to Imam and uh, my family to be. Uh, invited for ziyarat very soon, inshallah. Patel Minhas written again, Labbaik Ya Hussein. Batul Tawfiq says, Iltamas Dua. Nasim Walji Pir Muhammad from Birmingham says, Mataj Dua. Please convey our heartwarming salams to our grand masters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the opportunity to visit them soon and a ziyarat with Marifa, inshallah. Zehra Sham says, Please remember us in your prayers. Uh, Zakira Shairoz, please remember us. Masuma Roshnali Rajwani says, Iltima Sidwa, please. I'm praying for you all right now as I'm reading this. Farida Jamal from Toronto, please, our salams to all our Imams. Anila Ali from Karachi, mashallah, you are so lucky, sister, to be standing in the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam on the 13th of Rajab. Yes, sister Anila, I truly am so blessed and it's a surreal feeling uh, 
truly iltimas to dua my salams to our imams and my pursa as well my condolences as well zainabia hassan from london has said please convey our salams to our imams and mullah abbas salam inshallah that we will be asked again stay safe sister zakira shairos take care love and duas thank you sister that's so kind of you sister zainabia Zainuba, uh, Zainubia, sorry. Uh, Neelam Megji Jiva from Dar es Salaam, I believe, says, Please remember our kids in your duas. Salma Rajani says, Masha Allah, uh, so beautiful to see the shrines behind you. Please remember me and my family in your prayer. Zainaba says, uh, Special dua, dear sister. Uh, may Allah bless you. And we have some new messages uh, from coming up. Uh, um, I am looking at them right now, inshallah. Uh, yes, here we are. Let me see if they've come because we are having some difficulty with the internet. No, um, I do not quite see them. Um, I'm so sorry. We will uh, we will keep uh, looking at these other ones that are coming up on uh, my page, and inshallah. Um, Inshallah, we will uh, keep uh, remembering all these people in our du'as. Uh, uh, Ruby Walji Salim, Mohtaji uh, Dua and Salams to all our Imams, Labaik Ya Hussein, Labaik Ya Abbas. Uh, please continue to send your messages. If we cannot get to them today, we will uh, uh, for sure get to them tomorrow. Um, we will uh, be carrying this program live again from the shrines and with your duas well, we will be able to um, show you another background uh, we were uh, in another very beautiful part yes inshallah waiting yes uh, we are having trouble with the internet so uh, uh, we're just waiting for that's okay. I have a lot of messages here that I am uh, um, just waiting for them to come up on the screen. Ali Haider from Hyderabad has said, Subhanallah, congratulations, sister, for uh, being here uh, in, the, in the shrine of Imam Ali Ali Salam. Truly, brother Ali Haider, uh, your duas have made this possible. This is the first time for a female to be presenting in the shrine of Imam Ali Ali Salam. So we're making history. Brother Ali Haider uh, is a follower of Imam Ali Ali Salam, a new follower. And uh, he and his mother have uh, often uh, written to me, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Uh, and uh, may Imam Ali Ali Salam's love uh, be felt by you for you have uh, accepted his hand uh, in, in such difficult times so, subhanallah sister um, kindly convey my salam to mullah ali and mullah hussein ali salam and prayers to get invited to visit the holy shrine i pray with my all my heart that all of you who are asking to be here that very soon you are all here and with that i ask that i am also here uh, with you when that wonderful moment happens ifat kimji from uh, birmingham says iltimas dua Nafis Ashraf from Mumbai says, uh, Labbaik Ya Hussein, you have reached paradise. Keep us in your duas. Uh, Rima Lee says, please convey salams to all our imams. Please keep my family in your duas, especially my mom, husband, and my children. Have a safe trip. Dr. Kutsi Rizvi from uh, Lucknow has said, Jazakallah for taking our duas and our salam to the shrines. Iltamas dua. Fatima Pira Alibhai uh, from uh, Sweden says iltimas dua shabnam ahmad walji from dar es salaam says please convey our salams to the holy personalities and remember us in your duas praying for your safe journey thank you everybody for such beautiful duas um, we have sakina from tanga uh, in uh, in africa who is uh, of uh, the bahra faith and she says uh, she's a great lover of Imam Ali alayhi salam says remember me in your duas you are blessed beyond measure masha allah Nazneen Fatima says, Iltima Sudwa and Mola Hame Bhibulai. May Mola invite us as well. We ask Imam Ali alayhi salam to accept this dua at this very moment. Shabnam Jafar Datu from Toronto, she says, My salams to Mola. Uh, I just re recently lost my young son 
and uh, his passing away has left me so grief stricken. Please remember me in your duas. Jazakallah, wishing you a blessed journey. Sister Shabnam Jafar, our duas are with you. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you sabr to deal with this tragic loss of your young son. Uh, our hearts go out to you. In the name of Ali Akbar and his mother who cried for him, we ask that uh, you are granted sabr and that uh, Mullah Ali uh, gives you um, peace in your heart. Ameen. Firuza Sirji from Toronto says, please remember us in your dua. Fatima Daya from Sweden says Iltimas Dua. Shairoz M. Jafar from Toronto, safe travel and remembers in your duas. Salam to our Imam. Farida Jamal from Kitchener, Ontario. My salams to Mola. Please remember us in your duas. I will pray for your safe travels. Thank you, my sister. Naz Hussain Amir Ali says Iltimas Dua. Uzra Abid from Hyderabad. Safe from my side. Assalamu alaikum, Ya Abul Hassan, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen. Ya Wali Allah, Ya Wajhullah. Karors of salams and regards to you, my Mola Ali. Have mercy upon us, especially my children. Please protect them. Ameen. Suma Ameen. Nazish Bashtul Khan, mashallah, sister, lucky you. Please remember me and my family in your prayers, especially my mom, Farzana Jawad. Uh, Zohreen Bandali, merchant from uh, Mumbai, I believe. Iltima Sidwa. Masuma Roshnali Rajwani, mashallah. Iltimas uh, please. So we have only three minutes left and so many messages. Please keep sending them and inshallah we will have them uh, uh, on air tomorrow as well. But do call us live. We would love to hear your voice and inshallah also pray for us that the uh, internet signal remains uh, with glitch free so that we can hear your voice here live on air. Uh, Fasumataki from Karachi, Razia Somji, Femida Binti Ismail, Zinat Mahmoud from Karachi, Alhamdulillah, I'm in Mecca for 13th Rajab. Last year was in Najaf, Iltima Sadwa. And Sabuhi Zaidi, this is from Karachi, Auntie, you're so blessed, mashallah. With that, we um, ask Mola Ali to accept everyone's uh, dua and salam here today. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everybody an opportunity uh, to be here on this blessed land, which is heaven on earth, a portal to heaven. It is truly a pre pleasure and an honor to be here uh, as your khadim, as a uh, messenger, as, uh, as a person who got this opportunity to read your dua. I ask from the bottom of my heart, Ya Ali, Please do not send anyone from your door empty-handed. Ya Ali, you are the one who lifted the door of Khaybar and made the impossible possible. Ya Ali, we ask for your, through your wasila and your intercession that make all the impossible things in our lives possible. For those children who have gone astray, we ask for hidayat and guidance. For those who cannot have children, we ask that with your intercession, Mola, that they are granted an opportunity to have a baby. For those who are waiting for a good spouse, we ask for them as well. With that, uh, we uh, we send our salam to Mola Ali. Assalamu alaika, ya Amir al Mu'minin, alayhi salam. And uh, with that, my blessed viewers, brothers and sisters, this is Zakira Shiroz, Jafar Dala of Toronto, Canada, in Najaf, live from the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam on the 13th of Rajab, saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Labbaik, ya Ali.